What's going on Guardians? This is Corman here bringing you another Destiny 2 video. Today we're going to be showing you how to solo Shattered Throne. I have broken this down into a few videos. For my loadout, I'm going to be using Izanagi's Burden. If you don't have that weapon, that's fine. I would suggest a scout rifle or a sniper rifle, something to engage at range with. I'll be using an inaugural address. I'd recommend any solar damage energy weapons, whether it be a pulse, hand cannon, or auto rifle. And in my heavy, I'm going to be using Hammerhead. For my super, I am going to be using Middle Tree Voidwalker. This is after the debuff. With uh, healing rifts. And we'll be using Luna Faction Boots. So let's get started. This is the route that I take to get to Shattered Throne. This is the fastest for me. All you have to do is act like you're headed towards the Queen's Court. And once you get to this archway by the bridge, you just turn right. And then you'll just take this portal. And at the end of this hallway, you always get stuck at a loading screen. Or at least I always get stuck. Then you just continue straight. And now we're at the mission. Now a tip if you are using Izanami's Burden, you can load the Super Bullet, as I call it, and that will free up space to pick up extra ammunition. And once you get here, it's important to know that it is a broken pathway. I have fallen off this pathway several times, ruining flawless runs that I've attempted. As you can see, I got faked out there. There was actually a bridge underneath. I recommend engaging at range if you are doing this solo. Just be aware, when you engage at range, the enemies do find places to hide. Once they've done that, you can just push up on this little walkway, and then some of them will begin to peek out. And as you can see, the one super bullet does over half of its health. Now in order to see the symbol for the next area you need to go to, you do have to clear out all of the acolytes. As you can see, we have two fish. That's going to be off to the left. Once you pass through the doorway, Thrall will spawn. So after a short distance, turn around and come back through the hallway. It's the best way to funnel them to keep them from piling up on you. As you can see, they don't cross the doorway. And it is the one on the bottom on this side. 
Once you pass that part, a captain will spawn out of the wall. I would just back up and take care of him before going forward. It's important to note that the boss is a phalanx, and he can push you off the ledge with his shield blast, which he has done to me several times. But as you can see, as long as you use that wall, the blast won't push you. Now you can see that we have Bird looking to the left, which is on the opposite side. Now there is a way you can go behind to get there faster, but I prefer to go back the way we came and just use that hallway. It gives me a better bearing of where I am. As you can see, that's where we came from. And once you reach this archway, I go ahead and turn back around as more Thrall have spawned. As you can see, they get a little aggressive, but they will back out. Now for this next section, do be mindful that there are three Hobgoblin snipers off to the left. As you can see that was only two, but do be mindful to turn around and watch out for phalanx that do spawn once you cross the bridge. As you can see there are two phalanx there, and there's the third sniper. Now I do like to use this podium for this engagement. As you can see when you stand on it, you're up at the same height as them. And if you've taken too much damage, you can fall down and use it to block their shots. You can see that the boss will peek through the door, so take a shot at him. And every now and then it will peek back out through the door, but as you can see, it did not this time. So now when you push up, just be mindful once you reach these stairs here in front of us, more th thrall will spawn. Once they spawn, I like to drop down and just kind of take shots at the ones I can see. As you see, when you jump up top, you can't see them because they are hiding. Once you jump back up, they begin to emerge. Just be mindful that the boss will also start to poke you. So I like to drop back down and then finish him off. Then once the boss is down, just come back up and begin clearing out the wall. Now as you can see we have Dragon Breathing Fire, which is on the opposite side. So we make our way back to our middle hallway. And that's going to be the symbol that's directly in front of us and up the hill when we get on the side. 
The boss for this one is a captain, the Solar Overshield. It's probably my least favorite enemy of all of Destiny because it can spam those screen balls with absolutely no cooldown. So I go ahead and drop my Rift. And I just take out everything with Heavy. As you can see, we have you, which is on the other side, and it's on the bottom. Sorry, I got distracted by something shiny there. As you can see, the boss is a Minotaur. The Taken versions can turn invisible. So I would recommend taking it out as quickly as possible. While it's invisible, you can still see its crit spot. It does glow white. Once you get up these stairs, make sure you turn around, because there will be a phalanx that spawns behind you. Now our next symbol is infinite, which is the last symbol on the other side. In all honesty, this one is probably the most annoying symbol of this entire account. Once we make our way over, I'd recommend trying to take out as many enemies at range before jumping on the bridge. You can see that they are definitely within pulse range, and they are definitely within sniper range. Now that we've cleared out most of the enemies, go ahead and hop on the bridge. There will be four snipers that spawn, one that is directly in front, one that you saw there that is off to the right, and then you have two up top to the left. And that's why I recommend waiting before jumping across the bridge. As you can see, we have one fish swimming in a circle, and that's going to be the last symbol on the other side. Now this is the very first symbol on this side. So I recommend hanging out by this tree right here. It's far enough to where the acolyte eyes can't shoot you, and you can use the hill and the rocks there to block the boss's sniper shots. As you can see, the eyes can't shoot you. And the last symbol is bird swooping down, which is the one in the middle of the hallway. This is the best side to approach this area on, because you can use the stairs to your advantage.
As you can see, he threw a screen blast, but the stairs blocked it. And then if you take any damage or you need to reload, you can hug the wall and block the shots of all enemies. Then once you take him out, you're ready for the next section. And that's how you solo the Labyrinth.